Hello and welcome to the unit spotlight experience and today we're going to be taking a closer look at what makes the Sherman Krakow the best unit in the game. And there is the first kill of this clip. It is, it is definitely not going to be the last. This is a doozy of a clip, so this is why I'm going to be talking about the Krakow. For three special points, you cannot buy a better unit. You might be thinking when I say the best unit in the game is like a King Tiger or something, but when I talk about the best unit in the game, I'm talking about something like this, the Sherman Crocodile, something that's actually going to win you the game if you play it correctly. And by the way, I'm using HUD level 1 mod. It's a great mod just to clean up all the clutter. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try it yourself. So right now, you're probably seeing all these bounces coming from this Martyr and Panzer 4 h and also, I managed to stun this Panzer IV H and then get a side shot. And there's something I bet you didn't know about the Croc. It actually has 64 millimeters of rolled homogenous armor, which is the same as a Sherman 76 hole and a Sherman 105 hole, which is enough to pull off bounces at max range where it counts. Alternatively, if you're trying to take out any Sherman chassis, you want to shoot at the lower hole where it's flat. 75mm M3 L40 main armament is definitely no slouch either. It can pull off max range side shot kills on Chinus and Panzer IVs, its most common opponents. And taking a look back at the clip now, you'll notice something, and if you played any tank game you'll know this, but you want to be angling your tank towards those incoming salvos. And with the Sherman Croc, you want to be doing it about 5 to 10 degrees. To succeed in a Soul Squad, you have to take every single advantage the game gets you, and this is really, really important to do. And it's the reason my Sherman Croc is still alive right now. And speaking about taking advantages, I noticed the Martyr pulled behind the hill, allowing my Sherman Croc to advance, and then finalizing the kill there. I feel really confident in those close range scenarios with the Sherman Croc because I have the flamethrower, something I have failed to mention throughout the entirety of this video. I'm not even sure how that's possible. So the model M343 coaxial flamethrower is what makes the Croc such an all-round legendary unit. It's a great tool for basically creating infantry denial areas. You can make walls of fire to make sure that infantry cannot get through. And that is very important when you're attacking a position, which is something that this tank is exceptional at. Damn, bro. Shouldn't get tracked like a bitch. So let's take a look at an example of this, and it's against my friend, if you can't tell, he's in the background. It, it adds to the video, and you'll see why in a second. Thanks for that CP free up, homie. Currently, my croc is engaged by two Chia 47s and one Chihi, which all together make a really formidable opponent against any tank. Damn, you're really fucking my shit up, aren't you? Unsurprisingly though, both Chiha 47s in a frontal engagement will lose every time to a Sherman croc. I fucking botched this like a bitch, didn't I? And then following up with the Chihi lumbering behind, my croc actually kind of gets an assist kill, so to speak. I run up some <laughs> marines which have a little bit extra HP than normal infantry and easily get an AT grenade uh, in on it. That's so good. He brings up a Chi Nu against me, and I'm tracked in this position still, but luckily it has that, that golden yeah. zone of yeah. 5 to 10 degrees, which bounces all of his shots. I managed to drill a wow. shot straight into the you front actually, of that Chi Nu. You know, surprisingly, you're tracked, and you're tracked in, like, such a good way. It's... Now that I've slaughtered basically everything that he has on the field, I can attack freely and utilize that flamethrower and that wall of fire that I was talking about to push home my advantage, which is something that you really need to be doing in these 1v1s. What are you doing? Why are you chasing me all the way back here? <laughs> I know, <laughs> you guys are gonna get all flamed too. And really, honestly, that is as simple as that wall of fire technique gets. Just an awesome characteristic of this unit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I try and go to APC yard, like expecting you wouldn't see have vision over here. Somehow you see me though. All right, rematch, rematch. So yeah, basically how to win a game in about three minutes with a croc. And now we're going back to the main clip, and this is about how to win a game in five or six minutes with a croc. And we can see here, I am completely surrounded. There's a Panzer IV H, a Panzer IV G, and now this Puma is coming across the hill. This is a very dicey situation. This is an interesting buy on their part. But uh, I managed to secure the kill there with the main cannon, maybe the 50 cal. The 50 cal I've really neglected to mention, though. 
it's, it's a great, great weapon. It's a great secondary weapon because that would kill things like a, like a Puma there if I was reloading the main cannon. And as you can see here, I'm in this little ditch. If you're in a ditch, you're in a very powerful position because you can pull off shots like that. You can not expose anything and get kills on an H, which is stacking up in a one-on-one -on -one situation. The H is normally going to win, but the Croc, if you play it right, can pull off those great kills. So we're up to seven kills now, and I actually deflect the Panzer IV G's shot with my main gun. It gets knocked out, leaving me with the flamethrower only. So I decide the game's over. Chino, he, Chino's my teammate, and he said GG, so it's just time to have some fun with this. I go into their spawn, kill their pack 38, or at least flame the guys out of it, kill the Panzer III in, and by the way, with the flamethrowers, any flamethrowers, infantry or tank, you have to actually aim at the engine if you want to get those kills. Same thing with the <laughs> Molotov. Get the Panzer III in. I can't get the other Panzer III in because it's frontally engaging me. Right now, the best thing they could have done was buy an AT infantry, but unfortunately, buy a Martyr, and it gets spawn protection, but the flames stick. So once it gets out of spawn protection, it gets killed. So if you enjoyed this spotlight of the Croc, the best unit in the game, I have a lot of clips that's, like these with other units, and I'll be sure to make some more. See ya.